Hello guys, in this uh, tutorial, I am going to demonstrate a few steps involved in an electromagnetic simulations. So for this purpose, I will, I am going to take a simple con uh, current carrying conductor examples. So if I list out steps, so we can say the first step will be modeling. In this, we are going to model the conductor and uh, associated regions. The second step is material definition. So in this case, our material is uh, copper and the region will be air. The second one is the excitation conditions. So in our case, the excitation condition is the current. And the fourth step is boundary condition. So we have to assign boundaries to, uh, to make our solution unique. So the fourth step will be the boundary. After that, we are going to discretize the domain. And then we uh, do the so, uh, solution and we will see the results. So in this example, we are going to see uh, uh, magnetic field intensity along this line. So analytically, we know that the uh, magnetic field intensity is going to distributed like this. The field will be maximum at the conductor as after that it will decreases. So I am going to demonstrate all uh, these steps through an, uh, a freeware software called FEMM. So let's begin. So this is how the FEM software looks like. So let's open a new. So this is a magnetostatic problem. So we say OK. And uh, we'll select this point. Then press tab and uh, put the dimensions. So let's uh, put a dimension. Again press tab. So we have basically put two uh, uh, points here. Now we have to define the circle. So go to the arc, click this first, uh, this one, this one, then make it 180. Now you click the right one first, then left, then again click OK. Now we have to create another circle for the reason. So we will say assume 30. So now you can again create a circle. Let's define a node on a center. Now the, sec, uh, the first step is completed. We have uh, created the uh, modeling part. Now we will define the material properties. So either you go to the materials and add directly here the properties or you can use the libraries. So you can go to the library. So we have two, uh, uh, two material. One is air and the another one is our the copper. So we add here and we'll close it. And you go to here on the block, put it here. So this block will uh, give the property of this particular reason. Then another block here. So this particular will give to the another reason. And select it then and go to the operation. Click here. So this is our air. Select it go here again then create copper now we'll have to define the excitation conditions so we have current flowing through this copper so what we'll do here go to the material the copper modify property and put it here the current density that is 1.27 click ok now we have to define the boundaries. So go again properties, go to the boundaries, add boundaries. So this will be the boundary flux parallel conditions. Click OK. OK. Now select edge, select both edges. And go to again operations and put it new boundary. So now boundary part is also completed. 
let's save it save it now create a mesh so meshing part is done do the solution solution is done now this go to the results now result is done so we have to uh, plot magnetic field intensity over the line so go to the line here select it here here and go to the plot then uh, uh, we are going to see the magnetic field intensity so this is what how we have expected the magnetic field intensity to be distributed uh, i have made a error here so go to the problem and first change what is the unit you need so we have the planar problem so this is sold in inch so let's go to the millimeter and rerun it and we'll go to the results again plot and uh, we'll see the edge so you can see around 6000 that's what we are expecting here the field value uh, then you can also do maybe if you are interested in total current through this region you can go to here select it integrate what you are going to integrate you have to calculate total current so it's 398 points so around 400 ampere okay i thought you have enjoyed the uh, learning thanks very much